how to create a dynamic pattern in Affinity Photo. First thing to do, go to File and then New. Go for 1000 by 1072 or maybe 2000 by 2000. It doesn't matter. Then click Create. With that, what you can now do, go to Layer and New Pattern Layer. New Pattern Layer. Go for here, width set to 1000, obviously the same as the actual width and height of the document. And then click OK. So now you've got the pattern 1000 by 1000. Go to the brush tools, and I'm just gonna use a standard paintbrush tool. Go to here, brushes, and select any of the brushes. You can find that in the view menu, studio and brushes. I'm going for a dry media, brush and apply it with maybe black or green. And as soon as you do that, what happens? You can see it appears over on the other side as well. Apply another stroke and so on and so on. You can change a color, maybe change a brush stroke. Create a variety of different designs just by applying different brush strokes. And you can create it at different angles. Maybe go for green and then once you're happy with it, and I'm just gonna fill the entire document. And of course you can apply it in all kinds of different ways, differently. However, unfortunately things like text, as well as shapes, etc., not much use because they create another layer. But this creates a great seamless design. Then go to File and down to Export. And then just go to PNG and you can see there a thousand and a thousand. And just say export. And then I'm just going to go to a folder, brushes hyphen textures. And I'm going to call it brush one. Click save. Once you've done that, go create another document, file a new or an existing document. And with that, go over here again to the brushes. Now you could of course use the pattern texture design in other things as well, but you can use them with brushes. So with this brush selected, just select any of them, right click and duplicate brush. I don't want to change the existing brush. Double click and then go to the section texture. You can see general, dynamic and texture. And you can see here base texture. So you can then set texture, click that. And then select that file, brush-1.png. Click open, and you can see now you've got your design there. Now, of course, the actual shape of the brush depends on the brush nozzle, but the actual applied design really works nicely with the texture. And you can change the scale. You can reduce it, crease it, and you can see as you do that, let's just increase the size. So go to general, and you can see the brush stroke there. And then once you're happy with it, click close, and then simply apply. So go over here to the paintbrush tool and apply it with that. And you can see your texture has been added to that brush. And you can apply it and of course change the color, change the blending modes and much, much more. But what you can also do is you can change the size of that texture. Don't have to go with the existing one. So double click again and then you can go down here to texture and say scale, change it there. Now there's unfortunately nothing along the top, along the control bar, where you can change the size of the texture. But you can change it here with the scale. Click close and then apply it again and you can see the result there. Change the color and much, much more. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.